Hey guys, it's Samantha the Freelance Guru. Today I want to talk to you guys about 10 ways to generate passive income. 10 ways to generate passive income online, the 2017 edition. What is passive income? Passive income are earnings an individual derives from a rental property, limited partnership, or other enterprise um, in which he or she is not materially involved. As with non-passive income, passive income is usually taxable. However, it is often treated differently by the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, or an, from Investopedia 2017. In plain English, passive income in 2017 is when you earn money without actively doing anything to earn the income. 10 ways to generate passive income. Let's go. Number one, stock photography. If you love taking photos of nature, animals, people, landscapes, etc., then this is an excellent way for you to earn passive income. You can take your photos to websites such as Shutterstock.com and iStockPhoto.com, then sit back and wait to get paid over and over again as your photos continue to sell forever. More places to sell stock photography. Here are some websites that can help you post your stock photos and get paid for them. Number two, affiliate marketing. If you use certain websites regularly or find yourself promoting websites on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram to all your friends and family, get paid for it. Affiliate marketing is simply signing up with a company to become an affiliate marketer, then begin promoting that company with your affiliate link. Each company rules may vary, but you would typically get paid each time someone either clicks on your affiliate link or someone clicks on a link and makes a purchase. Here are some affiliate link location websites. We have Wealthy Affiliate, ClickBank, Affiliorama, Affiliate Program Amazon, CJ.com, and my favorite, ShareASell. Why is affiliate marketing so popular? Companies need to promote their services and goods, and they'll do it any legal way that they can. Affiliate marketers help to promote for those companies while getting a percentage of profit, profits for recommending the company in a blog post or their website, social media, etc. You don't have to get out of your PJs to accrue money. This is why affiliate marketing is so popular. Uh, set it and forget it. Post your links in high traffic areas to sit back and watch the money roll in. Uh, many affiliate marketers will promote services and goods that they use themselves, so their promotion comes off as more genuine compared to a company advertisement. Affiliate marketers are more influential to their family and friends and can reach a different audience than the company might be able to reach. Number three, ebook. Write a book on a topic that you know is popular. Set a reasonable price, publish your ebook on Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing website, then again watch your money roll in, possibly forever, as long as your book content is relevant. Don't know how to write an ebook or don't have the time? That's okay. Number one, hire someone to write your ebook for you from the following websites and make sure to get your copyrights for the work you paid for. Fiverr.com, Upwork.com, Freelancer.com, Craigslist.com, LinkedIn Profinder, uh, which is a new feature offered on LinkedIn, Squido, Squidoo, Guru.com, and Constant Content. Publish your ebook, promote your new ebook, and get paid when customers purchase your ebook. Number four, create a YouTube channel. Passive income ideas for YouTube. I tell my sons this all the time. They love to play Roblox. And I'm like, why aren't you just recording your screen and getting paid for it? So here are some of the ideas that you guys can do to gain your followers and start to make money because of all the views you're getting, all that traffic that's coming in. Number one, post videos of your playing games, of you playing games. Become a vlogger, preferably sticking to a topic you're passionate about or an expert on. Post videos regularly, e.g., for example, once a week discussing your chosen topics. Promote your channel. Sign up for Google AdSense from your YouTube channel to monetize your videos. I will show you guys that in a later video. Get paid from ads and high amount of views. Traffic from your viewers is key. Number five, blog. This is definitely my favorite. I love to write. Passive income ideas for bloggers. Become an expert on a specific topic. For example, hair, makeup, social media marketing. The sky's the limit. If you love to do it and you love to write, 
then what are you waiting for? Get to blogging and getting paid for your informative blog art articles. Do you hate to write or just don't have the time? Again, you can go to all the freelance links. There are so many freelance companies out there where freelancers are just waiting for you to hire them. Um, these links are posted earlier in the video and I'll also put them in the video description and they'll be on my website. Uh, hire someone to write about the topics that you have chosen. Um, when you blog, you want to make sure that you kind of have a niche. <laughs> you don't want to be kind of all over the place because the people that are following you are following you for a specific reason. Um, it could be if you're just uh, showing them your life and you're like a mother and a wife or something like that, then that's still your niche. It's more like this is my life that I'm living as the person I am and then women or you know who can relate to that lifestyle are still are following you because of that so you can't veer off all of a sudden and be like I want to talk about you know technology and how and get really technical and weird on them when they're like I'm so not into that I'm just a stay-at-home mom I don't want to do, I don't want to talk about that so make sure you you pick a niche and you try to stay as close to it as possible I mean stay on it and then every now and then you can kind of let people know who you are but yeah um the freelance writers you hire can write as ghost writers or as guest bloggers on your blog um place ads on your blog you'll need your own website then get paid as site visitors come to your website and click on the ads get paid by selling products services related to the topic of your blog um again this is where the ebook comes in you can make t-shirts uh coffee mugs whatever you want to make once you have followers they are more willing to purchase um, more items and services from you. Blog at least a few times a week. Your blog and ads on your blog will be there forever. Again, making money for you with each ad, click or product service purchase while you sleep. Number six, e-commerce. Passive income ideas for e-commerce. Set up an e-commerce website, load your products, and sit back as purchases are made at your e-commerce website. If you're good at graphics design, create designs for t-shirts, coffee, mugs, totes, socks, etc. Then post your design on mockups and upload to your store. Customers will come to your website to shop and you can set up automatic fulfillment if you really want your store to be a passive income stream. Popular e-commerce platforms are Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Magento, and Yogurt. And there's, pro there's many more out there, but those are some of the popular ones. Number seven, create online courses. Passive income ideas for online courses. If you love to teach, then go ahead with your bad self. Create online courses, then post them to your own website or one of the following websites. Students will pay you for your courses and you will get paid for your knowledge and expertise. How cool is that? And here's a list of some of the most popular websites that you can go to to upload your courses. Uh, like for example, the, what I'm doing right now can be considered a course and I can upload it to one of these websites and someone will pay to get this knowledge. Uh, you have Academy of Mind, Digital Chalk, Ed, Ed Loud, Pathright, MakerPlatform.com, Teachable.com, ThinkItFic.com, Cogno.com, OpenSesame.com, ProProfs.com, Udemy.com, and Wizig, or WizIQ. <laughs> Number eight, licensing music. Passive income ideas for licensing music. If you love making music, then this one is for you. Create music, then get it licensed. You will get paid when people purchase your tracks. Websites to your to license your music are Rumblefish, PumpAudio.com, BeatPick.com, RyeCall.com, and SoundWeave.com. And there's so many more websites out there. And I'm telling you now, as a designer and a vlogger and a blogger and uh, a freelance professional, <laughs> I need music all the time. Just like right now, I'm making this video and I have to go find music, background music. So if you're good at making uh, beats or good music and you think that you're really proud of your stuff and you want to share it, why not get paid for it? You'll never be you'll be surprised what people will pay for <laughs> so a lot of us don't have that talent so those, that's another idea of a passive income stream number nine graphics design passive ideas for graphics designers 
You can create your designs and post them on the following websites to get paid as people pay for your designs. Um, some of, the, some of my, my favorite websites, of course, is Spreadshirt, but we also have Threatless.com, HeadlineShirts.net, Sazzle.com, CustomInc.com, CrazyDarkTshirts.com, and Teespring.com, and there's many, 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 many more uh, design platforms out there where you could create your own design, create your own t-shirt, and sell it. Um, but the reason I love Spreadshirt, I'm not, I haven't used the others just because I don't have time to use all of them because I'm doing, you know, I have other businesses. But I love Spreadshirt because you can actually post the, the design by itself and people can purchase it. And I still have people to this day purchasing designs that I posted last year. So that is another stream, another one of my streams of, of passive income where you set it and forget it. <laughs> Number 10, build an app or pay someone to build you an app, then sell it. Passive income for building apps. Nowadays, you can hire someone to do almost anything, and you don't have to be as rich as you might think to hire someone to create products for you. If you go to the freelance websites I have listed earlier in this video, you will be able to find an app developer. You can pay the app developer to create the app idea you have in mind, then you can post your app to the iTunes Store, Google Store, etc. to sell it. You will get paid for each customer who pays for your app. You can also build the app yourself if you have the skills. There are several websites, several websites available that can teach you how to code or how to get better at coding. And last but not least, 20 best freelancer websites. So these are all the freelancer websites, one of the some of the most popular ones that I listed for your convenience, all in one place. Um, if you have talent and you want to be a freelancer, post your your uh, skill on these websites and you can bid on projects get hired for projects it's, it's really great um, and then if you're looking for someone to do some of the things that you're not as skilled at doing but you're interested in having you want to have an app or you want to have a new website to sell clothes like an e-commerce website you can go to these websites and <laughs> guaranteed you'll find somebody out of all these websites that's going to do a really great job for you um, to get you going on what your vision is and I want to say some of my favorites so far that I've used I'm trying to see which ones am I on I like Fiverr.com because it's faster than a lot of the other ones I've, I used Upwork and I feel like it was a little bit uh, clumsy to try to use it uh, but it's, it, Upwork is where the more premier designers are. Fiverr is kind of like if you're first starting out as a designer and you need to just learn more and build your portfolio, you would be on Fiverr. I'm on Fiverr uh, because I am recently deciding I'm going to be a web designer. So because I'm so new, I haven't really uh, built a portfolio yet. I was just kind of web designing for fun and going to college to learn. Uh, I didn't have that portfolio that I needed, so Fiverr gives me a chance to build that portfolio. You're going to meet people that are probably more likely to pay for. They're not paying as high of an amount, so they're more likely to pay for uh, new entry level uh, freelancers. Um, trying to see if I can find another one that I can speak for. Top two seems to be pretty cool. They uh, seem to be quite more, a lot, a bit more selective. I actually have it on here twice. <laughs> that shows how much I love Top Tool. No, I, I did just apply. I would like to be on TopTool.com uh, as one of, uh, as a freelancer. So I'm waiting to hear back. Uh, you got. Uh, I'm also on Freelancer.com. I plan to be on Guru.com soon. 99designs.com. I want to check out the LinkedIn Profinder and Demand Studios. So, and Crowded.com. So, you guys just, and people per hour. <laughs> I actually just signed up for people per hour last night. But, you guys just put yourself out there, take chances. Um, we all love the idea of passive income, but, you know, this, this full disclaimer here is that it's going to take some work in the beginning nothing is for free this is not a get rich quick scheme I know a lot of people your passive income you just think I'm just gonna get rich real quick if there was something out there like that people would be doing it I know you guys probably think some people are doing it but they're, they're really I'm not sure they really are a lot of people have put in a lot of work 
behind the scenes and for a long time before you see them as a quote-unquote overnight success. So passive income is going to take, it usually takes a lot of work in the beginning and then and then it pays off for many, 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 many generations to come. That's the potential of it. Did I forget anything? Post it below. Love the video? Like and subscribe. XOXO. Bye, guys. Thank you.